vessel, nothing more. Lending voice to elder law. Splendid. Oh, my darling Carolina, how I'd love to wine and dine ya, but you chose my foolish brother over me. And when you two are wed, well, my heart will be but dead. For my sister, you will sadly surely be. But my brother, he's a loser, and I take you for a chooser. So perhaps one day you'll leave him high and try. And if you choose another, what's more loving than a brother? Yes. A stand-up, homely, gentle sort of guy. They're in my head. They're in my head! They're in yours too! It won't be long now, until we're changed! Am I dead? I don't want to die, but I don't want to live, not like this! This place listens. It knows. If we're going to escape, we have to be smart. Right. You get it. I've been watching, learning. This place is alive. A big thinking thing. And it needs our flesh to grow. I've seen them put corpses in the walls and they just melt away. So we've got to trick it, see? Make it think we're part of it. That's why the door's only open for... Wait. How did you get in here? Away, slave! They might have taken your mind, but they won't have mine! They won't be laughing much longer. Won't be any more of this known homes in the city watch, Brevin. This Gortesh fella's got an idea. Kind of a training camp. Don't know how it gets me into the watch, but he seems a smart sort. Hmm. Fine bones, sharp jaw. Some variety of elf? Pretty enough for a flesh prison. If not the noble Githzerai features I was born with. The monk-like Githzerai, sibling race to the warrior Githyanki. Their contempt for one another is eclipsed only by their shared hatred of the Elithids. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the Geek either. Perhaps we might aid one another. Warriors of the Mind. Oh, there's some physical prowess involved, but the battlefield on which we truly fight the Geek is their own. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Geek. They destroyed us for it, and kept me as a trophy. I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole. Erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. My people dwell in limbo, a realm of pure chaotic thought. With my mind gone, perhaps my soul will return there. Or perhaps not. Death, freedom, they are one and the same. Touch my mind and purge it. At the very moment you do, I will make my knowledge yours. I do not. The Geek have been warping flesh for millennia. Who knows what damage they can undo? It is my mind they enslave. It is my mind that must die. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is... Tentative. 
and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch, but you feel something left behind, a fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension, but when you use it, you will see. And I... The moment comes, the absolute moves. Pardon? Wouldn't do to phlegm all over Lord Gortes during my first performance, would it? Mm, acoustics are a little off in here. Which is... where, exactly? Oh, just a serving girl with notions. Till I met Lord Gortash. He heard me singing in Beggar's Rest. Said he needed someone to give voice to lost knowledge. A little over my head, being honest, but the Lord has gold. I trust he knows his business. Now, I'd best warm up. Truly! <gasps> and my ma said the singing would come to naught. Every day he comes, every day for three days, to ask me how I feel. I want to tell, but I am confused. Which, which day is it? The first, yes, five days since you put that thing in my eye, but the first day he came to visit. He says I am the last, that the other subjects have all changed. We are his pets, his plan, Lord Gortash. Separate cells, I never saw them, but when they changed... My head! I can feel them in my head! I hurt. Head hurts. But he says I am past the worst of it. That I won't change like the others. He's given me a place of honor. So he can repeat his miracle. And a name. True soul. She whispers in my mind. She sings. Praise the Absolute. My head hurts. Can I go back to bed, Mummy? I live here. This is my house. Our house, right, Mummy? We saw a big spiky snail that fell out of the sky. I'm just very sleepy, Mummy. I wish you'd stop waking me up so much. With big wiggly legs! 